This episode of Hydro Show is sponsored by Hydro Mag, the UK's independent hydroponics magazine. I'm here with Simon at the Aquaculture Greenhouse here in Sheffield, and we're looking at different hydroponic systems used here. So Simon, this looks very exotic to me. What sort of system is this? What, what is this? Uh, well, this is kind of a, a bit of a modified DIY type system here. Um, the kind of this plant produces a very popular yellow fruit. Have you got any ideas what it might be? Oh, popular yellow, I'm guessing bananas. Yes, it is. Well <laughs> done. Um, yes, the reason why we've uh, um, produced this type of system is um, one of the trends that we're seeing now with a lot of growers is that they tend to be um, growing much larger plants and um, to grow much larger plants it's conducive to use a much larger pot um, so there's not many systems on the market at the moment that, that are off the shelf that can do that type of um, uh, method of growing so we've modified a Wilma system here um, we've put a large 35 litre pot on top of a Wilma 4 system and um, we've created um, an irrigation ring that um, um, circles the surface of the pot and periodically again we pump nutrient through that growing media. Um, again it's just a way of you know um, helping people who are very busy with you know busy jobs that aren't going to be able to hand water their plants every day yeah. and this type of system kind of just will help with that. Great stuff. So Simon, what's this one all about? Uh, this is called the uh, Flow Grow 500. It's manufactured by a company called Nutriculture. Um, it's a true hydroponic system. Um, why hydroponics works better than soil growing plants is the root zone environment. We have a much better balance of water and air, which is uh, very conducive for healthy plant growth. Uh, this is what we call a recirculating system as well. So what I mean by that is we have a reservoir at the bottom here with a pump. We have an irrigation line here. We have a bed here where the roots are actually spread in using a medium called rock wall. Uh, periodically, the uh, nutrient is pumped from that tank where it refreshes the water and nutrients in that bed. So what have you got growing here in this system? Uh, well, what we've got growing in these flow grows is um, some cucumber vines. Um, as you can see, we have a, a long vine plant here that we need to suspend with these roller hooks here. Um, basically, we are um, conducting an experiment at the moment. We're developing a new product for the vitamin range of nutrients. Um, as you can see, we have um, some cucumbers on this vine. Fantastic. Um, we're kind of measuring plant growth. Uh, we are also um, measuring the yields that we got off these cucumbers and then we're comparing them to other systems um, just to see if the product that we're developing is viable for commercial commercial future. Brilliant. So Simon. Are my eyes deceiving me here? I can see fish in here. What's this got to do with the system at all? Yes, you're right. You can see some goldfish in there at the moment. Goldfish? Yeah. Um, the system's not quite ready at the moment. We're still um, um, preparing it in some ways. Okay. Uh, it's called the Fish Plant Living Food Ecosystem. Okay. And essentially we are creating an ecosystem here. The fish that we cultivate in this tank at the bottom here produce certain waste products. We then pump that water into this bed. Uh, in this bed is where we're going to plant certain plants as well. We'll probably plant lettuce, spinach, cherry tomatoes in here. The plants then absorb the waste that the fish produce. They then filter that water, where the water then falls back into the tank and the whole cycle repeats itself. Fantastic, that is really impressive. Yeah, as I say, it's not ready at the moment. Um, it takes um, several weeks um, before the bed is ready for us to plant out into. And the reason why is that the fish are producing something called ammonical nitrogen. That ammonical nitrogen is um, being pumped into this bed 
and we are using little various test kits to detect this ammonia called nitrogen and also something called nitrites as well. Now there are bacteria in this bed that are starting to colonise and they're converting those nitrites and ammonical nitrogen into something called nitrate nitrogen. Now we also have a test kit that we monitor for nitrate presence as well. Once we start to see the nitrates in there, we can then plant out and the plants can then start absorbing those nitrates to the food source. Brilliant, that's a really good in-depth explanation there, thank you. Yes, no worries. Are you ready for bigger yields? Use the Advanced Nutrients Bigger Yields Growing Systems for the optimum results. Hobbyist. Expert. Professional. Grandmaster. More info at www.advancednutrientsuk.co.uk. This episode of Hydro Show is sponsored by Hydromag, the UK's independent hydroponics magazine.